Hi, you sexy biscuits, and welcome in to Mafia on the PS2. From the comments that I've seen since I started covering Mafia, this is the worst port of the game. And today, we're going to be playing it. Now, you're probably wondering why I'm filming this. Well, because I wanted to show you what actually came inside. So, inside here is the full manual, which is nice. I wish that games still had manuals, goddammit. Um, also, if you want to send Take Two... Any mail you can write there. That's probably out of date. Let's be honest. And last but not least this actually has the full-size map inside of here So if you wanted ultimate immersion, you could actually have this out while playing So I actually tweeted 2k and Hangar 13 and asked them if they could possibly put something like this in the physical copies of Mafia Definitive Edition So if you want to see that go and tweet them send them the hashtag Mafia map and also, because I'm a massive nerd, I noticed a few issues. These are blatantly PC screenshots because weapon pickups in the console versions have like a red glow underneath telling you you can pick them up, which the PC version does not. So as you guys can see, there's no kind of red glow under that. Also, if you look, you can see that it's actually got the radar and the console version has a mini map. So yeah, they actually used... PC screenshots, which slightly surprised me. Only I would bloody notice that. Right, let's get into the game. Yeah, we're going to be playing this on real hardware. I know most of you probably expected me to emulate it so it looked a little bit better, but then we wouldn't have the real experience. This really does bring back memories. So what I'm going to do is close the disc tray and uh, let's see what happens. Reading disc. That's positive, I guess. Come on. Ooh, there you go. Actually, let's take a quick look at my memory cards when I'm here. <laughs> what do I even have on here? Uh, Vice City. Good game. Um, I also have True Crime Street of LA. I have Donald Duck. Don't judge me. Oh, Star Wars Battlefront 2. Oh, amazing. Okay, you know what? I'm happy with all this. I think I just kept this one because of the tiny mystery machine. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that this was a second-hand memory card, so, uh, this isn't mine. Even though now I really want to play Scooby-Doo. Detective Norman, sorry for the delay, but I didn't want anybody seeing me. If you know what I mean. It's not my habit to sit with people like you. Got a business proposition for you, Detective. Does the name Salieri mean anything to you? You got something to come with him? I've worked for him for several years. Now he wants to rub me out. Ralph will introduce you to as a complete idiot. But he's got a special way with cars. Ralph. This is Tom. If you bring him a stolen car, Tommy, we'll make it your own. I've decided to give you a shot, Tommy. I like new faces. I'm trying to kick your ass out of this part of town. What's up? Okay, I may have edited that one in. So the main menu uh, looks the same, but there's no main menu music whatsoever. Now, I did look... And there are sound options, uh, but you can't turn on or off the music separately like you can in the PC version, which is interesting. Okay, so what are our main options here? We've got new game, racing. Is that in the PC version? Does that unlock later on? I don't remember that being racing. I think you can mod it in, but I don't think that's on the main menu of Mafia 1, right? Okay, free ride, uh, car cyclopedia, options, credits, and quid. So, we're going to start a new game, and I'm going to see if this holds up to the PC version. I just want to make it very clear, this isn't my Let's Play. My Let's Play is sticking to PC, because it looks a, a lot better. Oh! We have music! Did the orchestra forget? <laughs> I don't know what's going on right now. That's different. Who's gathering? Is that the people that ported it? Okay, so we do have the full intro sequence. I will say... It looks okay. I'm running this through um, a PS2 to HDMI adapter. One of those ones you can get off eBay and Amazon. And it looks good. It's a little bit compressed. But apart from that, yeah, quite impressive. To accelerate, use X. To brake, 
press square. I oh, you remember when uh, triggers weren't uh, the accelerated reverse? Ah, the good old days. Uh, to handbrake, press circle. Okay, I've got it. Avoid crashing your car. Really? You needed to tell me that? Okay, let's lose the tail. Good God, that's dark. <laughs> this game is incredibly dark. You guys are going to be seeing a way better version of this because I'm going to be upping the brightness for you. But, uh, wow, I can see barely anything. Um, okay, so I think I can escape him. Hopefully he's as blind as me right now. So first impressions, controller feels great. I bloody love controllers for driving in games. I think they're way better than a keyboard and mouse. Also, there's a little bit of vibration, which is awesome. Because, of course, I've been playing on PC up until this point, so I haven't experienced that. But yeah, I think this controls really nicely. <laughs> I just wish I could see where I was going. God, I can remember doing this when we played the game for the first time all the way back about two months ago on PC, and I struggled with it back then. I'm hoping my months of practice of playing Mafia since then have made me a little bit better. Right, he's not on my map anymore. I, you know what, I do prefer having an actual map rather than a radar. Now, what's the map button? Oh, here you go. Okay, oh, we can scroll? Yes, Ah, oh, this is amazing. Because we weren't able to scroll or do anything in Mafia 1 on PC. That's fantastic. Okay, so uh, if we just keep going along here and then head over to Salieri's. Wow! I've got to say right now, I prefer this over the PC version. Um, this map anyway, definitely. Also, the font is different for Lucas Bertone, which is something small that only I would notice. So you may be wondering how I'm actually playing it if it's incredibly dark. Well, I currently have my capture card recording on my second monitor. And for some reason, that is a lot brighter and I can actually see where I'm going on that. But only problem about that is there's about a second of delay, so uh, that really isn't helping in terms of driving. I didn't get to Salieri's, why is it loading? Okay, so the game is randomly loading. Oh, oh, okay. Is it because it can't run the whole city without loading? Right, okay, sorry, I, I didn't think about that because Vice City, if you remember, did the same thing. Uh, which I completely forgot. Yeah, okay, so there's a loading time across bridges, which is something. That's interesting. I can literally see nothing. Hang on. Uh, is there a car in front of me? I can't tell. My God, it's dark. Are my headlights on? Yes. Oh, boy. Ah, oh, this is fun. Don't play this game if you have poor eyesight, is all I can say. <laughs> which I do. I have terrible eyesight. Something tiny, I noticed. Why is it a blue cross instead of a little red cross? That's interesting. I was going to compare cutscenes and stuff, but there's really no point. I think they are using the PC cutscenes because they're just video files. So I was actually going to compare some of these cutscenes, but there's literally no point seeing as they look identical to the PC version. Okay, uh, so it's daytime now. I can actually see where I'm going. Right, first things first, anti-aliasing. Not very good. Although, you've got to remember that this is a PS2. Also, I realise that the map screen doesn't hover over the top of the game. So you can't play and have the map up at the same time. So yes, that is a negative. I'm going to take one point off the game for that. I'm going to take a left up here. And I'm also going to turn on my speed limiter with L1. Because yes, that is a feature in this version as well. Which is awesome. I do like that the camera is on the left and right triggers, like it was in Driver, which is making me quite nostalgic right now. Now, I'm gonna point out right now, I am noticing some N64 fog. <laughs> but you've got to remember, Mafia was a huge game when it was released back in 2002. And this was only a year after the PS2 was released. But apart from that, I think it holds up pretty nicely. I'm assuming there's a limit on AI cars driving around. And for those people saying that this is the worst version of the game, um, I'm guessing it looks a little bit worse than the Xbox original version of the game. But apart from that, I, I don't really see any problem with it right now. There's nothing sticking out that's making me think, oh, this is an awful experience. The frame rate, 
is smooth, completely solid. It feels like it's around 30. Okay, so we've come back to the main menu, and intro is now actually there, which is nice. We've also got mission select, which is interesting. So we can go to whichever one we want to. That's kind of like loading in Mafia 1. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to jump into free roam, and I'm going to go to the city. This is going to give me the opportunity to get out of the car and do some on foot stuff, because of course I couldn't really do that when I was doing the taxi mission before. So, I'm going to step out here. We've got a couple of guns. Okay, so we've got the pistol, revolver, shotgun, tommy gun, and my hand. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I can punch and everything here. That's pretty bloody awesome. Okay, and now can I roll? Oh, yeah, we can roll. Okay, right. So, let's get out the gun and try and fire at something. We've got crouch on L3. I'm going to say right now, the controls are surprisingly modern, which is quite impressive. These don't feel dated at all. Although I will say sensitivity is um slightly high. So if I was to, let's say, shoot this box, yeah, obviously physics play and everything. So yeah, there's full physics in this game. Ooh, let's get the Tommy gun out. Is that a gangster right there? I think that's a gangster right there. Okay, we're just gonna spray this guy. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Okay, uh, right, oh. Do they disappear in the PC version? I don't know if they do. Squares even reload. As I said, this game is quite advanced in its controls. Damn, okay. Uh, we also have interactions. Leave me alone. So you can interact with everyone. I'm gonna say right now, this isn't that bad. If you don't mind the small drop in graphics detail, this is a perfectly playable version of Mafia. I always try and see the positives in things, and right now, this hasn't disappointed me. Let's, uh, take this guy out. <laughs> the guns feel great, especially with vibration on. Let's try the shotgun. Oh, oh God. <laughs> so yeah, fog is noticeable. Uh, it's not as bad as some early PS2 games, but it's definitely there. Now, in the PC version, it's also the same. And not as bad, but of course, if you put in the um, cheat code, you can extend the draw distance, which I think the mod that I have on the game does automatically for me, so I don't have to do that myself. So... <laughs> That's amazing. I like how every gangster is holding $500. That's brilliant. That guy just got completely ran over. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. Let's see what the full like driving's like. So everything's here. The tram, uh, the train you can hop onto as well. Um, that's all fully accessible. I'm gonna say right now though, the map is so much better than having that radar. I didn't like that radar. The handling in this game is still fantastic. The cars feel so good to drive. Yeah, I'm gonna be playing this a lot, I think. I'm actually gonna be spending some time with this version of the game. Not on the channel, um, but in my own personal time, because obviously we're still playing through the PC version of the game. We've still got quite a few episodes of that to go until obviously the game releases um, the remake in August. But yeah, like fully on drifting cars and stuff is really quite good fun. Who's that guy? I like how the pedestrians also stop their vehicles and park up and then go about their business. That's cool. I like attention to detail like that. <laughs> Whoa, he survived? Fire! Oh my god. I can't believe he survived that. Yeah, I'm impressed. I didn't think I was going to be that impressed. I thought it was going to be a blurry mess, if I'm completely honest. Uh, because trying to put this onto a console around the same time that it was released on PC back then was kind of difficult. Because obviously the PS2 was the weakest out of all of that generation. God, what I really would want is a PSP or a Vita port. That would have been really cool. I think it would have worked quite well, actually, on, on PSP. Because this feels graphically like a PSP game. Which is kind of interesting. Anyway, I want to hear what you guys think. Tell me in the comments down below. Did you own the console version of this game? And if you did, which version did you have? Uh, and why has it got such a bad rap? That's what I can't understand. Because since I've been playing this for the last hour or so, I haven't noticed anything that's been a giant red flag, to be honest. Like, this seems like the full experience, apart from obviously the quite terrible loading times and the fact it loads when going over bridges, which is kind of annoying. Apart from that, though, 
everything seems to be here. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I definitely enjoyed filming this. This was quite interesting. I love doing stuff like this. If you want to see more PS2 and retro games, I, I bought quite a lot. So I'm probably going to be doing a what's in the bag video because I ended up buying about 20 games today on PS2. So if you want to see that video, make sure to leave a comment down below and I will get a video done in the next couple of days on that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, but until next time, that's me, out. Bye guys. Handbrake! <laughs> oh! <laughs> well, that was a full 360, that was amazing!